Okay, here's a simple fix if you want to add, add the ability for a remote timer to your fog machine that doesn't have one. I bought this brand new fog machine, um, which came just with a manual fog button on it, no timer option. So I cut the fog button off of there, and I took a power cord like this, uh, same one that you would use like to power the machine, and cut it in half. Okay, we're going to disregard the male end for now, and we're just going to use the female end. You're going to take your female end and attach it to the fog machine where the initial uh, remote timer button was brought in. And then when you open up the fog machine inside, you're going to have a simple three-wire connection of white to white, black to black, and green to green. Okay. I just cut the existing wires that were already wired to the machine and going to the old remote button and added my wires to them. Okay, um, Just for your own knowledge, when you push the manual fog button on the one that came with the machine or on one of the remote timers, it produces a closure of the green to the white and that's what uh, triggers the fog machine to go off. So now, with this end, I can take that and I can insert a timer end to it, like this. Okay, now I would have both ends, and I can then plug in a remote timer, uh, either like this one here or this one here and be able to control the machine. It's a pretty simple uh, fix and uh, seems to be working well after it's done. Okay, enjoy.